Sense Organs Part 1 Today we will learn the structure of the eye. A warm welcome. The sense organ enable us to be aware of conditions of external as well as internal environment. You know that all sense organs have receptors. What are receptors? Receptors are any specialized cell or tissues sensitive to a specific stimulus. Example, mechanoreceptors, chemoreceptors, photoreceptors, thermoreceptors, phonoreceptors, etc. We already learned that in nervous system, right? Let us learn the structure of the eyes. The two eyes are located in deep sockets or orbits on the front side of the head. These two bony sockets, we call it as orbits. Each eye is in the form of a ball and can be rotated with the help of six muscles. Six muscles are involved in the rotation of eye. Eyelids. The upper and lower movable eyelids protect the outer surface of the eyes and can shut out the light. Eyelashes. Each eyelid carries outwardly curved eyelashes. Here you can see. What is the function of these eyelashes? This prevents the falling of larger particles into the eye. Eyebrows. Eyebrows are not a part of eye, but what is the function of this eyebrow? Protective. The main function is protective. They prevent the raindrops or trickling perspiration from getting into the eyes. Tear glands or lacrimal glands. Where is the location of lacrimal glands or tear glands? It is located in the upper sideward portion of the orbit. Six to twelve ducts of the gland pour the secretion over the front surface. A nasolacrimal duct, here you can see this is nasolacrimal duct, conduct the secretion into the nasal cavity. What are the functions of tears? The movement of the eyelids spread the liquid mainly serves as a lubricant. It acts as a lubricant. The next point, keep the front surface of the eye clean by washing away dust particles. This is another function, washing away dust particles. It has an antiseptic property. Tears has an antiseptic property due to the enzyme lysozyme, very important. The enzyme present in the tears, that is lysozyme, which kills the germs. Which kills the germs. Conjunctiva. Where is the location of conjunctiva? Conjunctiva is a thin membrane covering the entire front part of the eye. It is continuous with the inner lining of the eyelid over the cornea. Here you can see it's a double membrane structure that is cornea. Over the cornea is reduced to a single layer of transparent epithelium. Then what is the function of this conjunctiva? The main function is protection. The common eye disease that is called it as conjunctivitis. This conjunctivitis is a viral infection. The outermost layer turns into red. That is due to viral infection. That disease we call it as conjunctivitis. Structure of the eyeball. The wall of the eyeball consists of three concentric layers. The outer sclerotic layer. Here you can see. 
outer sclerotic layer sclera middle choroid layer the middle layer is choroid then inner retina the outer region of the eyeball that is sclera here you can see sclera then this sclera or sclerotic layer is white in color it's a tough fibrous tissue but in the front region where it covers the colored part of the eye that is transparent the sclerotic layer is transparent in the front region the transparent region we call it as cornea then we can say cornea is a part of sclera or sclerotic layer but this sclerotic layer is transparent in the front region that is called cornea sclera itself visible through the conjunctiva the white portion that is sclera then this all sclerotic layer we can see through the conjunctiva because conjunctiva is the is thinner layer that cover the front part of the eye the middle layer of the eyeball that is choroid layer it is richly supplied with blood vessels for providing nourishment to the eye the choroid layer supplied with blood vessels for providing nourishment to the eye there is a black pigment dark black pigment called melanin which prevents the light rays from reflecting and scattering inside the eye and what is the function of melanin it prevents the light rays from reflecting and scattering inside the eye is a dark black pigment we know that is black color absorb light it is not scattering right yes the same function here the dark black pigment prevents the light rays from reflecting and scattering inside the eye then another structure present in the choroid layer that is ciliary body what is ciliary body in the front part of the eye the choroid layer expands the choroid layer expands in the front part of the eye to form ciliary body the expanded region of the choroid layer is called ciliary body then ciliary body is a part of choroid layer but it is expanded in the front region it consists of smooth muscles that is called ciliary muscles smooth muscles of or ciliary muscles that will helps to alter the shape of the lens this ciliary muscle helps to alter the shape of the lens what is iris iris is an extension of choroid layer it's a part of choroid layer is an extension of choroid layer it partially covering the lens and leaving a circular opening in the center you can see here the circular opening we call it as pupil pupil is not a structure it is a circular opening in the center then the blue black or brown color of the eye refers to the color of the iris based on the color of the iris the color, yes eye color become blue black or brown what is the function of this iris iris contains two types of muscles radial muscles and a circular muscles radial muscles of the iris helps to widen the pupil or we can say dilate the pupil pupil will dilate due to is radial muscles but circular muscles constrict the pupil then iris contain is two types of muscles radial muscles and circular muscles radial muscles widen the pupil and circular muscles constrict the pupil the adjustment of the size of the pupil then this adjustment regulates the amount of light enter into the eye then the pattern of the iris muscles the pattern of arrangement of iris muscles is unique in each person is it is different like fingerprints 
the sirus muscles is unique in each person that is helping for the individual identification that's why in the airport the eye checkup yes that is actually a unique individual identification technique the innermost layer of the eyeball that is retina retina is the innermost layer and is sensitive to is light it contains two types of sensory cells rods and cones here you can see this is the retina layer that contains two types of cells rods and cones rods are sensitive to dim light very important it's sensitive to dim light and do not respond to color but cones cones are and just opposite rods cones are sensitive to bright light and responsible for color vision this rods and cones are just opposite in function then the pigment present in rods that is rhodopsin very easy to remember rods rhodopsin the other name of rhodopsin that is visual purpurin then rods contain a pigment called rhodopsin or visual purple then cones contain the pigment iodopsin very important the pigment present in cones that is iodopsin that is sensitive to these cones are sensitive to bright light and responsible for color vision what are the differences between rods and cones rods more numerous cones less numerous rods mostly at the periphery of the retina cones mostly located in the center of the retina then another point rods are very sensitive to low level of illumination or it is very sensitive to dim light but cones stimulated by bright light then it is responsible for cones are responsible for color vision but rod, rods are not responsible for color vision the next important term you have to know that is yellow spot or fovea centralis or macula lutea very important what is this where is it located yellow spot is located at the back of the eye here you can see at the back of the eye almost at the center of the horizontal axis almost at the center of the horizontal axis of the eyeball this spot contains maximum number of sensory cells particularly cones the maximum number of cones are present in the yellow spot or fovea centralis or macula lutea this fovea centralis or macula lutea is the technical term of yellow spot this is the region of brightest vision the region of brightest vision that is yellow spot and the color vision because you know that this yellow spot contain more number of cones maximum number of cones present in yellow spot that's why it is responsible for color vision the region of the brightest vision or the region of color vision that is yellow spot the rest of the retina has fewer cones we know that the innermost layer that is retina yes this retina the rest of the retina has less cones less cones or fewer cones and more number of rods yes in yellow spot the maximum number of is sensory cells are there mainly cones are there that's why that is the region of color vision or the brightest vision we know that cones sensitive to 
bright light. Then more cones are present in this region, yellow spot or fovea centralis. Where is it located? It is located or lies at the back of the eye. Back of the eye, almost at the center of the horizontal axis. You can see here, it is almost at the center of the horizontal axis. The next area that is blind spot. Blind spot means area of no vision. This is the blind spot. There are no sensory cells. In blind spot there are no sensory cells such as rods and cones. Therefore, this is the point of no vision. Here you can see. Yes, there is no sensory cells, no rods and cones. That's why that is the point of no vision. Then, what is this blind spot? This is the point at which the nerve fibers from all the sensory cells, nerve fibers from the rods and cones of the retina converge and bundle, converge at a point, that point we call it as blind spot and bundle together to leave the eyeball in the form of optic nerve. The lens. Lens is a transparent biconvex crystalline body located just behind the pupil. You can see here the gap between the iris that is pupil. Then the lens is located just behind the pupil. This lens contains transparent lens fibers. The lens is a transparent structure that contains lens fibers. The lens is collectively held in position by fibers that is called suspensory ligaments. That is the function of suspensory ligaments is that will hold the lens in position which attaches to the ciliary body. You can see here. These are the suspensory ligaments. These suspensory ligaments attach to the ciliary body. What is ciliary body? The expanded region of the choroid layer in the front. The front region of the choroid layer expanded. That is called ciliary body. Then these suspensory ligaments are attached to the ciliary body. The ciliary body lies at the junction of the choroid layer. Yes lies at the junction of the choroid layer and iris and itself a part of the choroid layer. You can uh, you know that the ciliary body is a part of choroid layer. There are two chambers present in the eyeball. First one aqueous chamber and vitreous chamber. Other one is vitreous chamber. Aqueous chamber, where is it located? This is the front chamber. Aqueous chamber or anterior chamber is the front chamber between the lens and the cornea. Here you can see, yes, then this aqueous chamber located between the lens and cornea. Very important. It is filled with a watery liquid called aqueous humor. Then what is the function of this aqueous humor? It keeps the lens moist and it protects it from physical shock. It refracts light. These are the functions of aqueous humor. This aqueous humor is also transparent. The other chamber that is vitreous chamber. Vitreous chamber is the larger cavity of the eyeball. Compared to aqueous chamber, this vitreous chamber is the larger cavity of the eyeball. Where is it located? It is located just behind the lens. Here you can see it is located just behind the lens. It is filled with a transparent jelly-like thicker fluid called vitreous humor. Yes, this aqueous humor is also transparent. 
Then, what is the function of vitreous humor? It helps in keeping the shape of the eyeball. Maintain the shape of the eyeball. It protects the retina, the innermost layer of the eyeball that is retina. It protects the retina and its nerve endings. Revision, exam based questions and answers we are discussing here. Write the location of the given terms. First one, tear glands. Tear glands is located at the upper sideward portion of the orbit. The next one, eye. Eyes are located in deep sockets or orbits on the front side of the head. On the front side of the head. Conjunctiva. Next is conjunctiva. Where is it located? It is a thin membrane covering the entire front part of the eye. Entire front part of the eye. That is the location of conjunctiva. Then cornea. Where is the location of cornea? Cornea is located in the front region where it covers the colored part of the eye. You have to write in the front region where it covers the colored part of the eye. Then rods and pawns located in the retina. Then yellow spot. Yellow spot is located. Where is it located? Look. It is located at the back of the eye, almost at the center on the horizontal axis of the eyeball. Yes, you have to write at the back of the eye, almost at the center on the horizontal axis of the eyeball. The next is blind spot. Blind spot is lateral to the yellow spot. On the nasal side, that is the location of blind spot. You can write this also, the point at which the nerve fibers from all sensory cells of the retina converge. Then you can write, that is the lateral to the yellow spot on the nasal side. Lens. Where is it located? Lens. Lens is located just behind the pupil. Aqueous chamber. Aqueous chamber is located between the cornea and the lens. Vitreous chamber is located behind the lens. Write the functions of the following. First one, tears. Tears lubricate the surface of the eye. Then, wash away dust particles. Help in killing germs. Then, we can write, communicate emotions. Next one, eyelids. What is the function of eyelids? Eyelids protect the outer surface of the eye and can shut out light. Eyebrows. Yes, it is also protective. They prevent the raindrops or the trickling perspiration from getting into the eyes. That is the function of eyebrows. Lysozyme. It has an antiseptic property. It helps to kill the germs. The next one, ciliary body. Ciliary body helps to alter the shape of the lens for viewing objects at different distances. Then the next one, iris. What is the function of iris? Iris adjusts the size of the pupil. Iris muscles. 
adjust the size of the pupil, regulates the amount of light entering the eye. This is very important. Adjust the size of the pupil to regulate the light enter the enter into the eye. Cons. What is the function of cons? Yes. It's sensitive to bright light and responsible for color vision. Then function of rods. Sensitive to dim light and are not responsible for color vision. Sensitive to dim light. Aqueous humor. What is the function of aqueous humor? Aqueous humor keeps the lens moist and protects it from physical shock. Very important. It protects it from physical shock. Then we can write it refracts light. Vitreous humor. What is the function? It helps in keeping the shape of the eyeball. Then it protects the retina and its nerve endings. These are very important. Then suspensory ligaments. What is the function of suspensory ligaments? It holds the lens in position. That is the function of suspensory ligaments. Hold the lens in position. Transparent structures of the eye. Can you say what are the transparent structures present in the eye? Yes. We can say transparent conjunctiva. The outermost layer. Conjunctiva. Then we can say cornea. Cornea. Then aqueous humor. Lens. Vitreous humor. Then we can go through the location where it is located. The conjunctiva is the outer layer, then transparent layer that covers the cornea. Yes. Then just behind the conjunctiva that is cornea. Then between the lens and cornea there is aqueous humor. Then next structure, transparent structure that is lens. Then behind the lens vitreous humor. Then these are the transparent structures of the eye. Write the technical terms. First one, yellow spot, macula lutea or fovea centralis, the pigment present in cones, is iodopsin, the pigment present in rods, rhodopsin or visual violet, the outer layer of the eyeball, sclera. The layer of the eyeball richly supplied with blood vessels, choroid layer. The layer of the eyeball where sensory cells are present, retina. Thank you children. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Have a good day. If you like my channel, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.